Let's assume that we have the same example, which means we're going to have a project for three years. At year zero, we need to pay $100 million, and we will receive $40 million at the end of each year for the next three years. And we have our discount rate, which is I, which we call it cost of capital, which we call it weighted average cost of capital. So do you remember our net present value formula? Our net present value is our negative initial investment plus the present value of future cash flows. Therefore, what we did here is we subtracted our initial investment from the present value of future cash flows in order to calculate net present value. And since we subtracted, therefore, our benchmark for net present value is zero. Bigger than zero accepts the project, lower than zero rejects the project, equal to zero, you will be indifferent. So instead of subtracting initial investment from present value future cash flows, can we divide them? Yes, we can. Therefore, this is our next capital budgeting tool, which is called profitability index. So our profitability index is equal to present value of future cash flows divided by our initial investment. And since here we divide by initial investment, our benchmark will be one which means if profitability index is bigger than one, we'll accept the project. If profitability index is equal to one, we will be indifferent. If profitability index is lower than one, we will reject the project. Therefore, this will be the first formula of our profitability index. We can return back to our NBV formula. Can we take initial investment and we put it the other side? Yes, we can. Therefore, it will be NBV plus initial investment is equal to present value of future cash flows. Therefore, in our profitability index formula, can we replace the present value future cash flows by NBV plus initial investment? Yes, we can. Therefore, we can rewrite our profitability index formula as net present value plus initial investment divided by initial investment. And this will be our shortcut formula for profitability index if we calculated NBV before. So we can use this formula. So in the previous videos, we already calculated net present value at three different scenarios of three different walks. Now we need to calculate the profitability index at WAC 9%. So I know that the formula of profitability index is equal to net present value plus initial investment divided by initial investment. This is equal to net present value is 1.25 million plus our initial investment is 100. We put the value without the negative sign divided by 100. This will give us 1.0125. Therefore, our profitability index at WAC 9% is 1.0125. So what would be our decision rule? Profitability index is bigger than one. Therefore, we will accept the project. Please note that if NBV is bigger than zero, profitability index must be bigger than one. The benchmark for net present value is zero because we subtract initial investment from the present value future cash flows, while the benchmark for profitability index is one. Why? Because we divide the present value future cash flows by our initial investment. Let's get the second scenario where we have WAC is 9.7%. So our profitability index is equal to net present value is zero plus initial investment of 100 divided by 100. This will give us one. Therefore, our decision rule is profitability index is equal to one. So we will be indifferent. Please note that if NBV is equal to zero, profitability index must be equal to one. Let's calculate our last scenario at WAC 10%. So it's equal to NBV of negative 0.53 plus initial investment of 100 divided by initial investment of 100. This will give us 0.9947. So our profitability index is 0.9947. Our decision rule is profitability index is lower than one. So this means that we will reject the project. Why? We are not going to recover our initial investment, what we paid at the beginning. Consequently, if NBV is lower than zero, profitability index must be lower than one.